Hi everyone, thank you for coming to our website and for clicking on this info session. We're very sad that we can't host an in-person info session this semester, but due to coronavirus, we are posting this video to share a little bit about Cornell Hyperloop um, and to tell you a little bit about what we do. So to start off, I'll explain the Hyperloop technology. The Hyperloop is a proposed uh, mode of transportation in which high-speed train is propelled through a vacuum tube. Elon Musk initially proposed the idea and other companies trying to implement the technology. Um, in addition to the companies trying to implement this technology, um, there is a competition that is held by SpaceX, SpaceX in which colleges around the world compete in. In this competition, teams submit their designs and they compete to run their pod in the competition in hopes of um, actually getting it on a track at a SpaceX facility in California. So similar to a lot of teams around the globe, uh, we have a team right here at Cornell. We're made up of 45 undergraduate students um, from a pretty diverse set of backgrounds. Um, so even though Hyperloop might seem like um, a team that's just filled with engineers, uh, we have a few sub teams that don't necessarily do just that. Um, and because of that, we have members from CALS, from CAS, um, and then also just from different majors uh, within the College of Engineering as well. So to speak to that a little bit, I'll explain how Hyperloop breaks down its teams. So we have three major teams, mechanical, electrical, and business. Under mechanical, we have braking, propulsion, and suspension. Under electrical, we have hardware and software. And under business, we have web development and business development. So in this info session, I'll tell you a little bit about the different subteams. If anyone piques your interest, please feel free to reach out to one of those leads um, or go to office hours to ask any questions that aren't answered during this presentation. But to start off, I'll explain a little bit about the suspension subteam. So the suspension subteam is responsible for the structural stability of the pod. They focus their efforts on designing, machining, and testing lateral and vertical stability systems. And they utilize Autodesk Inventor, Inventor and ANSYS to effectively modify and simulate their designs prior to machining parts in-house. Um, if that sounds interesting to you, please feel free to reach out during office hours um, to ask any more questions you may have, or look on our website um, to learn a little bit more about what suspension does. Uh, in addition to suspension, we have the propulsion subteam. The propulsion subteam develops systems that allow the pod to move as fast as possible. Um, this includes the main drive motor assemblies um, and the carbon fiber shell that surrounds all other pod components. Like the suspension subteam, they design all their components in Autodesk Inventor and test those designs using ANSYS. Um, and they're revised repeatedly based on ANSYS results and feedback from other subteams. And then lastly, under the mechanical umbrella, we have braking. The braking subteam uh, works to develop a two-part system that involves frictional and mechanical brakes. The mechan or magnetic system relies on using neodymium Hallback arrays to slow the pod at high speeds, whereas the frictional braking system uh, will be actuated throughout the entire braking cycle. Both systems that the braking subteam works on are controlled by a pneumatic system that regulates when and at what force both magnetic and frictional brakes will be actuated at. Um, and that's a little bit about braking. Again, um, if you're interested in the mechanical team, feel free to reach out at office hours or look on our website for more information. So to move on to the electrical team, um, we'll first start with hardware. The hardware subteam is in charge of collecting the data from various sensors present on the pod including but not limited to thermistors, um, an IMU, and an inductive proximity sensor. They're also responsible for the motor controllers and the battery of the pod, along with its, um, its circuitry. 
And then members get to use various microcontrollers such as an Arduino and Odroid, um, and they can solder and design their own PCBs. So hardware works pretty hand in hand with software in the electrical um, team. So the software sub team um, works uh, to create a system that integrates data from different portions of the pod and gives feedback based on this data. Um, they use various sensors and work with the hardware team to accurately respond to different states that the pod might be in. Um, they are continuously developing their user interface, um, their communication protocols, and um, also just working with hardware to um, get and retrieve data um, from different sensors that are wired into the pod. So last but not least, we have the business team. The business team um, makes up both the business development sub team and the web development sub team. So to first start with the business development sub team, they are responsible for conducting outreach to corporate and alumni sponsors, as well as marketing for the entire team. Um, due to the emerging technology surrounding Hyperloop, they have the unique opportunity to work directly with experts in the field in both an academic and professional setting. Um, they also coordinate the purchasing of equipment and parts that are necessary for furthering the team's success. And then in addition to the business uh, development subteam, there is the web development subteam, which explores web development patterns, styles, and frameworks to give its members practical experience on team-based development life cycles. Um, this is one of the few project teams that design and maintain their own web page and internal tools. So if you have interest in either of these, again, feel free to look a little bit more on the website um, or reach out during office hours. So just to sum up this um, asynchronous info session, we included a few photos of what the team actually does day to day. Um, aside from social events, we are fortunate enough to get some, to do some really cool um, hands-on work in the ELL. Um, as you'll see in some of the photos, this is a mixture of the mechanical team's work and the electrical team's work. Um, and aside from that, we're, uh, we also have a lot of fun, as you can see in the upper um, left-hand corner. Uh, we get to do some cool things like bowling. Unfortunately, due to coronavirus, some of that has changed a bit, but we still do have some uh, great online socials. So that is it for this asynchronous info session. Um, there are resources out there um, and members that are more than willing to answer any questions that you have. Please do not hesitate to uh, reach out. And if you are interested in applying, please go to our website um, to start your application process.